Come on in, Kelly Sadler, former special assistant to President Trump. I gotta say uh, that after that tariff tweet yesterday, stocks <laughs> sold off. Um, now, the president, he's been out there saying, campaigning essentially on the strong economy. Mm -hmm. This China trade fight will hurt our economy in the second half of the year. How are you going to handle that? Well, first off, let's look at the state of our economy. Wages have increased 42 percent over the last two years President Trump has been in control versus the last two years President Obama was in control. We've seen the effect of our tax cut plans. We had Pfizer announce that they were going to take their Dutch company, Milan, and build their plant here in America, which is going to create more jobs, more economic yeah, growth. Look, the I, same look, thing I, with I got, Allergan. I got it, Kelly. I, I, do, I, do, I, I do understand the, the, the state point, of the economy. Yes, and I know you've got to put that out there. But look. You are facing a slowdown. We've faced a slowdown right now in job growth. That was evident mm -hmm. in today's jobs report. Mm -hmm. If these China tariffs are imposed, it will hit consumers. It will hurt our economy. You have to tell me how you're going to address that. The I point, know the economy is doing well. You've got to tell me what you're going to say about the second half. The point is, is that our economy is booming and China's is not. We are in a position of strength. China lost 5 million jobs, 2 million jobs because of President Trump's tariffs. They have the slowest economic growth since 1982. They are in a much worse position than we are. They are st stealing our IP. They have trade thefts. They are cheaters on the world stage, violating every WTO rule okay. and agreement that there is. So if we so, don't take them on right now, Stuart, when we're in a position of strength, then when will we take them on? So and your companies position need will to be, adjust. Okay, look, your position will be that the Trump hard line and the effect on the economy is worth it. And it's the it, right thing to do. That it is will be worth, your line? It is worth it in the long term. They are our biggest, China is our biggest geopolitical threat. And this administration is standing up to them. Now, they promised to China, promised to buy agricultural goods from us. The president has not seen that. We have not seen that come in. They need to take steps to address the problematic systems in the communist system and treat us fairly, reciprocally. Trade should be fair and reciprocal, and it is not. And okay. if this president, this president is the first president to actually take them on, and he needs to stick with it and go through it and make good on his promise to the Americans. Here's something you'll like from the Cleveland rally last night. The president pointing out that Democrats are attacking President Obama at the debate. Roll <laughs> that tape, please. I was watching the so-called debate last night, and I also watched the night before. That was long, long television. And the Democrats spent more time attacking Barack Obama then they did attacking me, practically. <laughs> OK, you've got 20 <laughs> seconds to tell me that that is indeed music to your ears. Well, you know what, Stuart? I don't want to give help to the Democrats right now, but they are attacking a president who has a 90-plus popularity with their, within their own policy, po party. Now, listen, um, a lot of Republicans and a lot of independents thought that Barack Obama was too extreme. He strangled businesses. He strangled the economy through his regulations and executive orders. Um, now you have the new Democrats saying he didn't go far enough. They want to even get more extreme. I say to the Democrats, keep doing what you're doing. Okay, Kelly, we hear you. Thanks very much. Kelly Saturday, thanks for joining us this morning. Good stuff. Thank you, Stuart.